Number 26. A muon, an elementary particle, enters a region with a speed of 5 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. And then is slowed at a rate of 1.25 times 10 to the 14 meters per square second. Letter A, how far does the muon take to stop? Letter B, graph X versus T and V versus T for the muon. So the first thing that we are going to do is to write the things that we know, the things that are given in, in the problem. So the initial speed, so let's say VO is equal to 5 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. The acceleration we do know and it is equal to 1.25 times 10 to the 14 meters per square second. Let's say that the initial position is zero, so it's just easier. You could choose the value that you want. It doesn't matter. So for letter A, how far does the moon take to stop? So if the moon stop, the final speed is zero, right? Okay, so those are the information that we have. And now we have to find how far does the moon take to stop. So since the acceleration is constant in this case, there are three different equations that we can use. We can use that x is equal to xo plus vot plus at is squared over 2. We can also use that v is equal to vo plus at and that v is squared is equal to vo is squared plus 2 times a delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use because the acceleration is constant. So the trick that I always tell my students is that you just circle the things that you don't know. For example, in this first case, you don't know the final position of the particle. That's, that's what you want for letter A. The initial position is zero. The final, the initial speed is, zero, uh, is this one over here t you don't know the value of t the acceleration you know and t you don't know so for the second equation the final speed you know the initial speed you know and t you don't know the acceleration you know you know you know no don't know okay so this is pretty easy right now because letter a says how far does the moon take to stop? So you just want to find x. So which equation would you use? You, you, you could say, oh, oh, okay, I have x in this first equation. However, you have x and t. So there are two different things that you don't know, so you could not solve this equation first. So, but you could use this equation over here because the only thing that you don't know in this equation is delta x, right? So that's why circling the things that you don't know make it easier to see what you have to do. So let's just isolate delta x. So delta x is equal to v squared minus vo squared divided by 2 times the acceleration. So I just isolated delta x over here. You could do at the pace that you want. I just, I just done it really quickly. Okay, so the final speed is zero. The initial speed is five times 10 to the six and two times acceleration. Okay, so we can see over here that the moon is slowing down. So the acceleration is negative, right? I forgot to include the minus sign over here because the acceleration is negative because the speed is decreasing. Okay, so minus 1.25 times 10 to the 14 and this gives us let's, oh, let's oh, this is squared right this is squared so this is equal to minus 25 times 10 to the 12 over minus 2.5 times 10 to the 14 and this is equal to 0 0.1 meters 0 0.1 meters. So that's the answer of letter A. 0 0.1 meters or 10 centimeters. Okay, that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want to graph x versus t and v versus t. So one thing that will, will make it easier for us to draw those graphs is to find the value of t when this happens over here. So when the moon stops, what is the value of t? The, the value of t. So let's look again at our three equations over here and which one we could use to find t. 
So since we just found x, in principle, we could use this equation over here, but let's use the second equation over here because it's simpler. So we could find the value of t. So v is equal to vo plus a t. So the final uh, is velocity is zero. The initial velocity is 5.10 to the 6 minus 1.25 times 10 to the 14 times t. Okay, so let's send this term to the other side. It would be 1.25 times 10 to the 14 t. Don't forget to include the t, right? Which is equal to 5 times 10 to the 6. So we can send this dividing and that dividing as well. So t is equal to 5 over 1.25 times 10 to the 6 over 10 to the 14 and this gives us 4 right and this gives us 10 to the minus 8 so this is equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 8 seconds okay so why have I found this this value the value of t over here when the particle stops you will see it in a moment okay so let us draw our first graph over here so this is t let's say it is in seconds and x in meters so the position is a second degree equation because the position is given by this equation over here you can see that it is a second degree equation so it would be a parabola however let's see the points that we have so we know that when t is equal to zero the position is zero as well and we know that when t is equal to four times ten to the minus eight the position is 0 0.1 so we are going to use this information that's why we have found it okay so we have those two points we have to connect those points but you cannot you could not draw a straight line so don't draw a straight line because you, you know that it is a second degree equation so it should be it should resemble a parabola it is a parabola at least a part of a parabola so we know that the speed is, is the, the, the maximum value of the speed is happens when t is equal to zero so the position should increase really quickly so the position is increasing really quickly and then when the particle is stopping the position doesn't change that much so it should be something like this right so if we connect the dots take that information in account we would have something like this if you continue the parabola, it would go like this. However, the movement stops when t is equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 8 seconds. So that's the graph x versus t. The graph v versus t is easier. So this is v in meters per second. So we know that when t is equal to 0, the speed is this value over here so 5 times 10 to the 6 and we know we also know that when t is equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 8 the velocity the speed is, is 0 so in this case we have to connect using a straight line because the speed is a first degree equation so it should be something like this and that's pretty much it, right?